Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Star Bazaar. Today's video has been a few months coming, but yesterday was a good catalyst to start the conversation. So first of all, I need to open with a public apology. Yesterday, I put out a video that was titled Leaked Geonosis and General Grievous Images, and in that video, I included some screenshots that I was led to believe were of a Geonosis playtest at DICE. The images were of poor quality, and after I got them, I debated whether to make a video or not because a few red flags went up instantly after speaking to my source. Long story short, I chose to make the video, made it live, and went to bed. After waking up and seeing a few of the comments explaining where these images were from, I immediately took the video down. And I want to take this time to explain why, because that can seem a little shady without a personal explanation. In the opening moments of the video, I explained that I normally do not do leaks as they're not my thing, and I was very clear that these images could have been faked. With that said, these images did turn out to be fake, they were in fact from a mod of a previous iteration of an older Battlefront game I believe. The poor quality made it impossible to distinguish unless you had seen the images before, which I had not. It was genuine news to me, and when I read those comments, as well as others verifying it, I took the video down. One main reason I took the video down was because in it I gave a shout out to the fan and viewer who was my source for these images. I realized I was manipulated into giving this person a shout out to boost their own channel, and I made a bullshit video based on misleading information. In the spirit of not giving this person any attention, I removed the video so the shout out no longer exists, and I really hope you're watching this, that person who gave me the images. You know who you are. You are a manipulative lying sack of crap, and do not pull that shit on people anymore. But my fault for believing it. I'm normally a pretty objective person with a very high standard of evidence. I pride myself in being a skeptic, but my excitement about being the first to report on possible leaks overrid my sense of skepticism, and as a result, I put out a video that contained fake images. So this is me saying I am truly sorry for that, and the video is now gone. As a small channel, I don't have much more than my own credibility, which is something that is worth more than I think some people realize. I strive to be one of the good ones on YouTube, and with that last video, I let you guys down, so I am sorry. I hope me even making this video demonstrates that, and I will take this time to announce a no-leak policy on the Star Bazaar channel. I had said earlier I normally don't do them, and that's true. The last leak I covered was the Crimson Dawn Darth Maul skin that was leaked on Reddit. I only covered that because the solo Blu-ray release was right around the corner, as was a new game update for Battlefront 2, so it would not have surprised me in the slightest if we actually got it. As you know, we didn't, so that was another leak that ended up being false. I didn't even report on the some info leaks because that wasn't anything some random person couldn't have written out themselves. So you heard it here first, no more leak videos. I know channels like Mike Zero are all about it, more power to them, but it's not my thing. And after yesterday, I am definitely never doing a leak video again, unless it is another mess up by DICE where they accidentally leak patch notes. I hope you guys can see past my mistake, it was an honest one, and I hope these actions show that I do take it seriously. Besides removing the shout out, the video was also taken down simply for having no substance once I realized the facts. Because I do take my credibility seriously, and if there is something that tarnishes that, I'd like to set it right. I now want to segue onto the other topic of today's video, and that's clickbait. It's been a topic in the community lately, and I'm seeing these comments pop up more and more on mine and others' videos, and it really makes me think that the majority of people who complain about it really don't know what clickbait is. I had a few on the last leak video, so I figured I'd lump the topics together. But it seems to me some people will see a good thumbnail with a catchy title and instantly shoot to the comment section and accuse it of clickbait. Now, I'm not necessarily disagreeing, but when I get accused, I usually follow up with the question, good clickbait or bad clickbait? Normally, I hear back, there's no such thing as good clickbait, at which point I realize this person has absolutely no idea what they're talking about. Let me break it down for you. Clickbait, on YouTube specifically, can be used to refer to any element in a video's title and thumbnail that encourages you to click on it. You see a lot of big channels do certain clickbait trends like exaggerated facial expressions on their thumbnails or hot buzzwords in big bold letters in their titles like WOW or SECRET or REVEALED. These are all things that are meant to play a psychological game, and it's a game of competition more than anything. You guys are about to get a crash course in YouTube content creation, so listen up. As a content creator, when I put a video out, that video is now in competition with all the other videos that appear on the page with it to win your click. I have to make my video the one that you want to click on out of all the other videos YouTube is throwing at you. So how do I do this? 
Well, I make my video packaging as nice and neat and attractive as possible, and that's the title and thumbnail. The title and thumbnail are literally a promise to your viewer. You are using the title to explain what the video is about, and the thumbnail gives a visual preview of what we may see if we click. If you think of the video as a gift or a present, the thumbnail and the title are the wrappings and the bow. It's not the actual gift that's inside, but it promises and is advertising a specific thing. And this is where I will bring up bad clickbait, because bad clickbait is making that promise and then not following through on it. Bad clickbait is titling your video, Anakin Skywalker, new character, gameplay, Battlefront 2, and then you show footage of a mod. That's bad clickbait, because it isn't showing what the title and thumbnail promised. The creator could put the word mod at the very end in parentheses, but since YouTube cuts off the ending of titles depending on how long they are, you may not even see that part. That's bad clickbait. Good clickbait would be titling a video, leaked General Grievous image in Battlefront 2, and actually showing a leaked image of General Grievous in Battlefront 2. You are fulfilling the promise you made to your viewers. It's clickbait, yes, because it uses things that people are interested in and looking for as a way to help boost views. But that doesn't make it bad just because it's clickbait. It's basically an advertisement. It's the exact same thing you see on a billboard when driving down the street. You see it in TV commercials or anything else that is designed to catch and hold your attention. People have been clickbaiting for years. This version on YouTube is just one of the more recent versions of it. The question you have to ask when looking at a clickbait video is, is this content creator following through on their promise? If so, then why you mad? If not though, politely let them know and hopefully they will do better next time. I'll fully own up to clickbaiting because at the end of the day, isn't it the goal of every video to get clicked on? Why do we verbally punish those who figure out how powerful this tool is and use it just for using it, regardless of if the content is actually good or not? It's just a bit of a backward mentality, and I'm hoping this video can change a few minds. That's not to say don't call out bad clickbait. Definitely do, just make sure it's actually bad before doing so. That will bring this video to a close. I'd say the apology was difficult, but it really wasn't because I don't like the idea of being an uncredible channel. If it takes a public I'm sorry for screwing up, then so be it. I hope I didn't turn anyone away from the channel, and if I did, I hope one day you'll find this video and decide to come back. That will do it from me though. I appreciate you all stopping by the bazaar, and I'll see you all out on the battlefront. Peace.